All right, so today, making uh, uh, 3D printed, um, I'm gonna center in on a build plane here, uh, 3D printed corners for cell phones, because that's where they usually impact the ground and break. Um, at least by my observation, um, they'll be stuck on with double-sided stick tape. I have already measured the phone and determined the dimensions. There will be a picture. This is an Instructables. Um, there will be a link down below to the Instructables. Um, uh, and there, so there will be pictures, a picture of my doodles and all my notes. Uh, so here we go. We're going to go up here. This is in Fusion 360. We're going to create a sketch, click on a build plane, and move this a little bit. So this needs to be 16 and a half millimeters plus two millimeters for the wall. So let's see, 16 and a half plus two. Uh, let's see, that's uh, 18. Five. Here, can I? I can. Got a touch screen. Enter, and then, do, 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 zoom in far enough, go, there. a measurement here because nope with pretty sure this here should be sixteen and a half ah, control Z control Z okay fine being uncooperative that sometimes happens. Four, because I've got it currently set at um, half a millimeter. You know, I've got it zoomed into half a millimeter. Here, let's go ahead and measure now. Yeah, sixteen and a half. Very good. All right. So now we're going to make the hole in the corner. Um, this is where it breaks. We're designing. We're designing this thing to break in a specific way, so that if mm, now it'll fit. Exit. Uh, so when it falls on the ground, this plastic piece breaks instead of the phone. It's worked pretty well for my phone. Saved it a couple of times. After I've dropped it about a meter onto um, wood both times, but the second time it fell onto the already broken corner and then slid clear across my basement floor. So I was uh, very pleased with its how well it survived that. My last phone had a had a you know a real tough case on it, but this phone that I've got now is a Samsung 10e, I think. I don't know. Um, the cases for them were just disappointing. So I'm uh, making great big fillets. Oh come on. Great big fillets here because that helps, just makes life easier um, later. Oh, let's make a real good one here. This is the inside corner. I mean, it'll be against a uh, surface, but.
Hmm. Trying it a little differently. I don't usually delete that corner there that I just deleted. Um, we're going to see how it pulls itself uh, up. Alright, now let's add a little, some grippy corners. Do, do, do. in the wrong place, didn't I? Alright, try and duplicate the same sort of behavior. Uh, cat. Cat has allergies. It's absolutely disgusting. Go. This is the first time I've been using this screen recording thing, so sorry if I'm not talking very much. I'm not used to talking while I do this. Uh, yeah. That's all there is to say about that, isn't there? Alright. So, the person I'm making this for wants me to put a cat in there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. I think I will. Draw a line here so I can just mirror something. Oop, exit. Don't need lots of extra lines, do we? Hmm, oh, I don't know. About there, maybe? What do you think? Is that big enough for a cat's head? Is that good? I don't like that line there. Come here, Beats. Don't eat that. You're gonna pay later. Cat with allergies also has pica or something, because it's over there chewing on a rubber band. It does this regularly. My computer cord has at least two spots of tape that I fixed. Because he's chewed through it. Alright, let's give the cat an eye. He's gonna be a scared looking cat, I think. Alright, their noses are sort of triangular, aren't they? Doop. 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 So yeah, up here we have our toolbar. You, I'm sure you've seen me go to that a lot. Oh, exit. Darn it. Take that line up again. Alright, control Z, control Z, control Z. I just don't like that. Nose was entirely too big or too small. There, a little more like it. Now we're going to use this shape. This is well, the curve shape. And give this cat a mouth. Oh, we'll give it a mouth meow. We're going to give it a meowing mouth, I think. Okay, here we can move it a little bit. We can adjust things, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. Uh-huh. Alright. Alright, let's 
snip some unnecessary stuff. I'll create. We're going to go up here. Come on. Click. Great. Yeah, it's giving me warnings. I usually just ignore those. Most of the time, they just aren't worth the energy. So yeah, I clicked on the mirror feature. So I'm click selecting everything I want mirrored. And our mirror line is this one here. Ta-da! Okie dokie. Look at that. Wasn't that fun? Alright, now let's go back and delete our mirror line. We just don't need that one there. Looks like a cat, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, so I think we're done with our sketch. Let's go ahead and finish it. Now we're going to do a lot of extrusions out of this. So, first off, let's extrude this. We're going to make it two millimeters thick. Ta-da! Oh, hang on. And we need to click other things, too, that we want. Hmm. I didn't plan this out very well with this cat. Okay. Let's cancel that. And how are we going to do that? Um, let's go back and edit our sketch. There, now all that can be negative space and these other, these, the eyes, nose, and mouth can be positive space. Alright. Now let's do the extrusion again. There. Click on these, because we want them to be positive space. Well, we want them to be the full thickness. This other area here is going to be um, recessed one millimeter into there. Give it two millimeters thickness. Enter. All right. Oh, now we got to turn our sketch back on. It likes to turn it off. Kind of obnoxious. Uh huh. Ooh. I guess. Well, we're gonna show you. We'll cut it again here in a minute. We don't actually need to do any cuts. Well, I'll show you here in this. So, if you wanted to make this a cut, like here, if you had this all selected. Um, you could go back, do an extrusion, and click on these other the other parts that you wanted to just pass through, um, and it would create a cut. Oh, actually, we're going to have an interesting thing here in a moment. You know, I'm going to do that there. We're learning. We're going to show you how to do it. And, and now this has got to go up to 13.5 millimeters. extrusion and we're going to click this and we're going to make it we're going to go over here to the profile plane and we're going to switch it to an offset plane and we're going to give it offset one millimeter and a distance of one millimeter okay see now I'm going to flip it over ta-da kitty cat Now, I'll show you that cut. We're going to click this circle. Now we're going to go over here for, to distance and we're going to click all because it's a cut completely through because that's where we want it to break. Okie dokie. Ta-da! Alright, now let's break round over all the corners with fillets. Fillets are kind of fun. And it's always really interesting to see how this thing um, likes some fillets and hates others. I'm always amazed. Let's just go ahead and click that. And 
See, they, these in here, these inside fillets are kind of important because they give that corner some strength. Um, otherwise, it'll want to just tear there, and I've pulled these off the build plate, and they've broken right at those points because it's a stress amplifier. Um, they have a better word for it. Hey, let's just click this whole thing right here. Let's just click this plane right there. Huh? Let's see. What do you think? I think we can get away with one millimeter. Ah, see, it doesn't like it that the uh, I just pointed at the screen with my finger. The um, red line there doesn't like the one millimeter. So let's try point eight. Aha! Did that. Ah, I don't like that though. So let's try point five. I can live with that. All right, enter. Now let's flip it over. Do it again. I don't usually fill it these edges here because then they then they're kind of sharp and they'll uh, you can feel them better. Uh, you just get better grip on them and that's kind of nice. All right, so we're gonna click this outside edge. Can I just click this whole face? Yeah. Oh, oh gotta click our filler tool. Forgot that. Click that. Oh boy, got the whole thing. Okay, let's go ahead and oh, we'll click that. Now nah, we'll click that one in a minute. Right. Yeah. All right, let's try 0.5 again so that it matches the rest. Yay! It works good. Huh? Now, now the tricky part. It's gonna have fits with this cat for sure. And it might not print very well because this is going to be, um, you know, so it pulls itself up out of the resin. Um, so there's going to be some hanging space here. So we'll see how that prints. I'm curious. I'm always curious um, because, yeah, it's always interesting to see how it works. Let's try 0.25. Um, Hey, it worked. That was nice. Okay. Okay. Look at that. There we are. That'll work. And these these fillets on the edge, also with the FDM printers, um, help get let you get underneath them with a razor blade and peel them off easier. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So then, yeah, then the next step is to X, well, hey, let's save it. File. Save. Uh, let's see. Cat. Phone. Corner. C -O -R corner. All right. And now, since the, these are all the same, I made it so that I could put the same one on each corner of the phone. Um, Let's put it in somewhere other than admin because that's just getting a little nuts. Hey, I have a new project. Ooh, that's getting a little nuts too. Hey, default, that'll work. All right, save. Uh, where was I going with that? Yeah, so you're gonna put the, put the um, mounting tape on this, you know, because there is no rubber case on this phone already. My Samsung's got a real cheap rubber case um, that I put these things on and mine even has it so that I have a pocket clip so I can put it in my shirt pocket and turn the camera on and video what I'm working on um, that way. Um, so yeah, but this is a real basic idea, um, intro into Fusion. Um, yeah, so you put the t double sided mounting tape on the bottom here and both sides and that would give a good buffer um, if you didn't have um, just a real cheap rubber case. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Okay, well we've saved it. Cat phone corner version one. Look at that. Alright, so now we're going to need to export it. Could save it to the hard drive too. 
Alright, I want to put it in C3D phone cases. Uh-huh. Alright, open. Save. Oh, we got to save it as a STL. I mean, I guess, no, we should save it as this. And then I'll put both files into the instructables and export. And now we're going to do that again, but we're going to turn it into an STL so that we can slice it. Export. Oh, should already be there. Cancel. STL. All right, export. Now this always takes a minute. This one shouldn't take too long. Let's see where my flash drive go? I'll just go ahead and slice it while I'm here. No, I won't. Because everybody's slicer is different. And this is, gonna, this is gonna take a while, but then you just open it up in your slicer and slice it and then print it just like normal. Oh, look at that, I forgot to plug my computer in. I brought the charger over here and didn't plug it in. Ha! Oh well. Okay. Well, I think that's all. Y'all have a good day and happy making.